Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. We're here at the Pixelcore Studios and we're looking at more keyboard shortcut goodness in Final Cut 10.3. 10.3, yeah. You did some great episodes about audio and audio has improved so much in how you can manage it and organize it that I wanted to build on that a little bit because I'm finding as I'm editing, because I can see and access my audio and organize it so well, I want to be able to more quickly adjust it. Excellent. So um, I'm going to dive right in here. I have kind of a simplified interface. I do the same thing you do as I hide my libraries list in browser, hide my inspector so I can focus on what I want to do. And the first thing I want to do here is I want to show my audio lanes. Now, normally you'd need to open the, um, the timeline index, shift command two, and then click the show audio, show audio lanes button. But I don't need to do that because I've assigned that a keyboard shortcut. In fact, if I go to the command editor, option command K, you can see I have the same warp speed editing command set. That, I have the uh, same set. That you've got the same one, right. Well, we've assigned some keyboard shortcuts to things that don't normally have them. So I assign shift L to uh, show my audio lanes. Nice. So I don't even need to open the timeline index to do that. So I can just pop those open. And I want to do uh, some work on a couple of these clips here on the audio clips. So I'm going to use Steve's trick of the select above and below to hold the command key down and tap the down arrow to go to a clip I want to work on. Also, command plus to zoom in a little. Now, I just want to add fades to this. Now, previously, before 10.3, you'd go in and drag these little handles. You might accidentally trim the clip yep. instead of dragging. Yep. You know, we've all been there, right? Mm -hmm. you just, you're moving around. It's just you waste time. But now, if you go to the modify menu under just volume, there are two new commands to apply and remove fades. They don't have keyboard shortcuts by default. But you've, you've assigned I've them. I've assigned there. them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. all I need to do is hold down Option Command F, and I'll add the default uh, fade there. Right. And you can adjust that default in preferences, mm -hmm. which I won't show you here, but it's, it's easy to do. So I can add it. If I want to take that off, I add the Shift key. So Command Option, just add the Shift key, and they come off. So real easy to do that. And of course, you can select multiple clips and Command Option F and fade That's, them all. I cannot tell you how huge that oh is my God. to be able to add fades to multiple clips on the head and tail. It's, oh my it's God. Fanta fantastic. I agree. I agree. And then sometimes you only want it on the head or tail. Sure. So you can do that as well. So rather than Option Command, I just move my fingers over to the left one. So now I'm on Control and Option. Mm -hmm. And if I tap the F key, that will turn on a fade just on the endpoint. And in fact, right. tapping the F key will toggle that on and off. Right. So I can do just the head, or if I want to adjust the tail, I again add the shift key. So control option with the shift key and allows me to do just the tail very quickly. No. And I, I and is it, what if you held all of those modifier keys and tapped F? What would happen? <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid what would happen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but According I can, to Thomas Go Carter, it'll add head and tail fades. <laughs> oh, if I hold all these down? Yeah, and then to, Well, but if I do command option F, I'll get head and tail. Okay. Right? I've all got right. that right there. Okay. All right, so cool. I can turn that on and off. And then so I can just then command up to the next one and command option F, so I can really quickly, I'll turn the back off again, add heads and tails together with option mm -hmm. command F, or toggle just the head or tail on right. as well. And then one other thing you frequently need to do is sometimes you've got audio that doesn't match video. So this is a good instance In where i In terms I've of duration? It. Yeah, I've got a J cut or an L cut. Right. And, but sometimes you may, you've changed your mind and you want to bring it back. Right. And it's not too big a deal to drag it manually over, especially if you end to s in, in, engage snapping, snapping there. Right. right, but you don't even need to do that now because under the trim menu, there's a new align audio to video command. Was that assigned a keyboard <clears throat> shortcut? It doesn't have one. <laughs> and you've assigned and it. I've assigned one. Option A, because I want to optionally align. So we looked before at align in motion, so this is align oh, in I Final see. Cut. Oh, I see. You've got to keep aligning stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> I've got to keep aligning stuff. So option A will immediately do that for that clip that's, or, that's... or any number of selected clips. Nice. You can immediately uh, align that audio to trim it to match the video clip. So just a couple of additional keyboard shortcuts that aren't there by default but they take advantage of these new commands just to work that much faster when you're doing audio editing, which turns out can be a very significant component of, of your work. Yeah. Just yet another thing that uh, Apple has given us in terms, in terms of speed and efficiency. Yes. We can just, just work through these clips so, so yes. fast. And the visual feedback between the color coding and seeing the waveform uh, makes it very easy to know exactly what you're working on. Absolutely, absolutely. So there we have it, more warp speed Madness from Mark Spencer. <laughs> um, we uh, 
we're updated. We're still up in the process of updating all our tutorials, and we're you know feverishly working on those. And uh, watch all of our tutorials that we're continuing to put out every week on 10.3. Um, check us out on the different social media channels and email us. We do answer your email. So I want to thank you again for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you in the next episode.